Ladies and gentlemen, things are crazy. You know that. I know that. We know that. Also, I do a fundraiser. I like the first week of starting off every single month. I usually do it like three days before the month. That, so that way I can raise enough money to pay rent every month and continue to be your planetary defense commander. Anyway, we are in that fundraising time zone. And one of the things I talk about is hurricanes. And during hurricane season, sometimes I talk about the next landfalling hurricane. We just had a Category 4 hurricane hit Louisiana do catastrophic damage. I think it's still at hurricane status right now and still doing damage. But made a lot of videos about that. This video is just about the next hurricane. And since we've been hit by a major hurricane... That means during the couple of months that are left, September, October, November, that we can probably get hit by more hurricanes. Maybe we Cat 1, maybe Cat 2, maybe Cat 3, maybe Cat 4, maybe Cat 5. We don't know, but we watch, and a lot of people are super alarmed by the giant mega monster wave that is rolling off of Africa. And if you noticed, for Hurricane Ida, the models were like, eh, it's going to go into Mexico, and the models were like, nope, it's going to go into Texas. And then five days before landfall, all the models were like, no, it is going into Louisiana. So it felt like we kind of got head faked. I kind of got head faked. I usually like to give everybody at least 11 days notice, at least per the area where it's going to hit. But here, I only got to give like four and a half days. So I'm trying to try not to repeat those mistakes. And I would definitely stay concerned and stay on top of this one if you were anywhere along the East Coast, including Florida. Although, and if you're into these islands, or if it slips past and moves into the Gulf, nobody knows where this one is going. Let us all hope that it curves out to sea. But it's okay to have PTSD for this hurricane season. Now, also, I uh, give my all as your planetary defense commander during the month. So usually for the last two days, I've kind of lost my mind, kind of burned out, and I'm kind of talking nonsensical. So if I'm not the picture perfect perfection thingy then please forgive me but you know forgive me hey it's modern age forgiveness seems like a rare thing these days so before we were watching the euro and it had the big thing approaching the u.s around day 10 now we're watching the latest run of the gfs and the gfs had the big monster wave that we were watching rolling up africa usually it has the azor high crumbling with a hole in it giving it an escape route meaning no threat to U.S. of A, or even the Caribbean Islands. Well, the latest model run has it doing this weird, it still goes up and under. There are two of them, see, bing, bang, boom, and they both fall under the Azores high in the hole, in the trap door. But then it does this like, nope, I'm going to shoot out straight back at, like, upper northeast. Which is crazy. And so this is the 16 days out run. And so all I'm saying is, you know, some of us who like to hyper focus on things like potential hurricanes in the future this is something we do we watch from 16 days out we watch from 10 days out and we just try to notice the trends and make the best calls we can so yeah even though we still have a hurricane moving over the us of a we are now still watching for the next land falling hurricane and they usually come in twos just like we saw Nora hit Mexico and then we'll push moisture up into the southwest. And then Ida hit Louisiana, move up. We're still looking for that. We, we can start to get more serious about the next one when we see the second signal over here. Or that like it switches and you'll get both hurricane signals out in the Atlantic. I don't know if we're there yet. That usually happens around peak season, which will be now in the next 10 days. Oh, yeah. One thing I haven't explained. Peak hurricane season usually happens on the 10th of September. So we have extra reason to be extra watchful and extra mindful. Mindful leading up to hurricane season. Anyway, this video is just letting you know. I'm keeping an eye out for you guys because that is what I do. So I can give you, and if it happens to head my way, Houston, Texas, an advance warning to get out of Dodge if possible. Okay, this is just late night thoughts. Me letting you know and an opportunity for me to say, hey man, 
I do a fundraiser every month so I can continue to give you about an average of two videos a day, unless sometimes I take a day off. That hasn't had much, you know, I've been taking like two days off in two months. Crazy, huh? Anywho, if you would like to donate so I can keep doing what I do and giving you a, day, a video or two a day, although I may take a day off here, or maybe even two this month, who knows? These are wild times. I got a mailbox you can send it to. I got a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and a whole lot of appreciation for everybody because during these crazy days, um, I can't think of any other job I, I should be doing right now. Other than being your planetary defense commander, because I think I do a really good job, all things considered. But I got $1,651 left to raise from the 171777 budget I try to operate under. Uh, thank you very much to Astro Fight Club. Thank you to Cody, Greg, John, Jamie, Mad Motifs, Andrea, Darlene, Ed, and you. I'll keep doing what I do as long as I can. I'll try to bring the funny back, if that is possible. While still being respectful to all the conditions that are so chaotic across the world, globe. Yeah, there's chaos kind of happening everywhere. People seem unhappy with their government almost everywhere, except in Iceland. Apparently people in Iceland are happy with their government. People in New Zealand were happy with their government. Oh, look at that one. See, that one's got... That one's drawn up. And we're definitely, because they used to show us a hurricane definitely coming out of the CAG area around the 3rd. And the 3rd is like five days away. So it showed us no real signs in the last three-day model runs of that happening. But now it's starting to say, hey, maybe that hurricane you've been talking about, Thor, maybe that will show back up somewhere between the 3rd and the 7th. And so let's try not to get caught off guard. What is it talking about? Oh, yeah. People were, the people were like, New Zealand's government's doing great. And then they're like, oh, crap. We're not as happy with our government as we were before. What is it talking about? Who knows? I told you, like, at the end of every month, I get a little burned out. And then I and then I end up being like, hey, man, I'm having a fundraiser. Did you know about it? Such a weird way to make a living. But it turns my life into, like, a game show, which means I got to do super great every single month. And I think I did great in August, but who knows? I have no idea how you interpret life. All right. Everybody stay cool. And I'll try to do the same. God bless everyone. And try to make good choices and forgive people where you can. All right. Peace out. Peace in. Peace up. Peace all around. If possible.